Business article presents the Sumit Kumar Show. Hello and welcome to Business Article. And today I have a very special guest. I can call him my friend, my dear friend. He is from Tamil film film industry. As in Bollywood, we call him. Uh, we call uh, South Indian film industry very talented, young blood, a very professional music director. who is wearing a many hats recently he has also uh, going to venture into his upcoming movie project which will be in the uh, kannada language right yes so his name is martin climen uh martin please uh, tell me something more about you why you have choose music as a profession see when it comes to music the only one the only one thing which drives the whole life mm-hmm. let's say when you read a book mm-hmm. you're not fully into that mm-hmm. but music when you listen to music your brain is completely f- full of emotions mm-hmm. that's how music influences mm-hmm. the emotion mm-hmm. so music i chose music because i felt the music is inside me so i wanted to explore it and get that emotions and reach to the people wow great uh so uh before going deep into the conversations i i would like to thank uh, uh the sponsors for this locations uh we are recording this video in jw marriott bangalore so there are two jw marriott one is nearby airport where we are recording this conversations so thanks to the sponsor one and when you sponsors so going forward to the question uh mr martin uh, can you uh, see as the pandemic was the uh, i mean it has hit industry as i mean with the you know bottom rock if you can if you can uh, focus more about if you can li- enlighten us how you transform yourself during the pandemic and how you manage yourself and how the industry was suffering or what is your take overall uh, with that scenario and still now we are coming out of that pandemic era so give us your uh, perspective on the scenario how you have faced see usually songs when it comes mm. for songs mm. we we start with first the instrumentation right where you know um, we have nearly about 10 to 15 musicians i mean i'm talking the pre pandemic mm-hmm. we have a multiple instrumentalist and you know we have a, a group of people who produces music but once this pandemic has uh, come mm-hmm. so we were forced to use you know the programming things mm-hmm. where you can you know program the multi instruments through the software so which software you use see we use i use multiple daws mm-hmm. like I use probably i use uh, logic pro x for for the compositions yeah sorry for interruptions for the benefit of the audience you know nowadays all the music which you listen most of them are arranged yes. and programmed through the software and he is talking more specifically about the software if somebody as a listener is wanted to be you know go deaf so whatever he is talking about you know the software you can have a more perspective which software to view use and what's the current trends yes go ahead so logic pro um is one of the best uh, daws ever the most industry had got so most of the successful directors the legendary directors have been used this software and to tell the highlights of this software is like uh, you know it's handy basically and you can compose the entire song within your Oh nice. great. So but the disadvantages is since we have this technology development mm-hmm. 
many of the live musicians are losing their jobs. Let's yeah. uh, let's say I wanted a violinist, mm -hmm. and I have a sampler pack mm -hmm. in the software, so I use that sampler. Mm -hmm. So yes, it is like you know we use the softwares, and the softwares are. So every industry has its own, you know, yes. pros and cons, advantages, disadvantages. Advantages like you can process the things very fast. I mean, the productions of music has Correct. gone fast, but you know, the involvement of human activities has gone less. Yes. Uh, so my, I would like to go deep into the things because you are involved with the music, you know, productions. You are also selling your stuff to the various, you know, music yeah. channels and all. Tell me what will be the future of music as according to you, as a new composer, how you look industry next four to five years down the line? See, every day is learning. So as per the technology, we started with the mono recording, mm -hmm. maybe in the early 80s, 70s and all. Legendary directors composed amazing melodies, which was in mono. Then come back, the stereo came, then the 5.1, mm -hmm. then 7.1. Now we have the Dolby Atmos. Mm -hmm. So I hope so we, we might be having the higher range of, mm -hmm. you know, the, the widen and the technology according. Now we have a new uh, technology called Iris technology, which is a 360 degree sound. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the, the more the... So tell us more about, you know, uh, as audience like layman like me, or a lot of people, whoever is listening to this video, not everybody is a professional music programmer. Or they might not be from the entertainment background. So tell us more about, you know, music we consume in many forms. Most of the time you can consume through, you know, uh, mobile phone earlier it was like consuming through FM radio before that, DVD, CDs through television channels, there are a lot of forms. But why the feel of music is something different in the theater and the feel of music is something different on our phones or headphones? What are the uh, technology being used in the music theater nowadays like UFO and other, that PBR and other, you know, uh, uh, exhibitor are using into their theater. Okay. So why that sound effect? Sometimes it's like, you know, I myself is like watch lot of OTT content. I feel once I was in, you know, the theater, the feel of music is different. Once I listen it to, you know, through my headphone okay. or maybe something it goes, you know, uh, something it, you know, feel is different. If you listen it on theater different on YouTube different on Ghana or some other OTT platform it's different why so is there something behind that uh, some permutations combinations or software thing please enlighten us see according to cinema the medium for films is theater right right and uh, of course the medium director also but today, we also have the same technology which can bring you to your place where you stay. Mm -hmm. See, uh, it's not like, you know, only in theatres you get the same right. uh, um, effect. Right. But you have the, the surround, uh, you know, soundproof thing and mm -hmm. then you have your setup, the setup of 5.1 in your Correct. room. So you can incorporate the same visuals mm -hmm. and you can take the same output even in your doorstep. Oh, really and coming you asked me about the you know the the quality between the theaters OTT and audio platform. the audio platform see it's it's all about the rendering what you give see for theaters we have you know the heavy amplifiers and you know the the loudness to be you know controlled the dynamics mm -hmm. and the EQs so you, we usually you do the mixing and mastering separate for theaters mm -hmm. And uh, basically, it's called as LUF, mm -hmm. loudness for full scale unit. Mm -hmm. So each platform has their own loudness. Okay. So if you see uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. they have their loudness. So if you have come across when you hear the same song in YouTube, 
What and is the ratio difference? I mean, in terms of like, if you can technically explain, let's say some plus minus or some. Hmm. See, minus 12 is the standard ratio for the, I mean, everyone knows that 12 dB. 12 dB. Yeah, minus 12 dB. For YouTube. Uh, no, that's the the normal, the, the strength of the signal. Okay. Right. It's minus 12. So we call the term, we use the term called minus LUF. Okay. Loudness full scale unit. Mm -hmm. So we use that according to the platform demands, we increase it or decrease it so that the right quality, the right content, the right loudness will be delivered. If the mixing engineer is done, see basically, as I said, if the source is good, mm -hmm. the output will be there. Mm -hmm. If the source is not good, mm -hmm. then the output, let's say the recording itself is amazing, then you need not to have a mixing and mastering, mm -hmm. heavy mixing. Mm -hmm. So we mix the sounds, you know, in a stereo mm -hmm. for it, you know, and then we convert it, we encode it for the Dolby. Mm -hmm. And today's technology, we also have the Dolby stereo, mm -hmm. where most of the film songs are being, you know, um, mixed oh, in a, mm -hmm. mixed in a, Dolby Atmos. So that gives you the wider range mm -hmm. and that gives you the 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 full and the best quality. Oh great. So uh, for layman if somebody want to understand how the music productions happens. So what are the first processes? You start with the lyrics or you start with the composition. Please uh, give us more specific how you conduct your work. So I cannot say exactly what happens. Mm -hmm. It just comes within within the flow. Okay. There are possibilities. First, I write the lyrics mm -hmm. and then compose. Mm -hmm. Or maybe first I have the composed version and mm -hmm. then I call the lyricist and write. Mm -hmm. Either the way it happens. Okay. Sometimes we don't know. I might be you know, driving and something triggers me mm -hmm. and I just take the phone and you know just record that mm -hmm. and once I come to the studio mm -hmm. I sample it and I do some experiments mm -hmm. oh wow then let me call this singer mm -hmm. and let me try you know adding this that and add some just cook some good stuff mm -hmm. and then I present it to the director according to the the project what it demands mm -hmm. then we sit and rework on it mm -hmm. we add uh, you know incorporating the we incorporate the, the western belts inside mm -hmm. the classical mm -hmm. and I experiment it and which the di ultimately my director has to be satisfied right so yeah, so these are the processes yes. so according to you which which you prefer writing first or compositions first as a music composer I'm talking about not uh, as a lyricist see um, we can uh, Drink mm -hmm. and eat, mm -hmm. and also we can eat and drink. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Nice example. <laughs> so, by the way, yeah. you can have the food and sleep, and mm -hmm. you can have to sleep, you take the food. Okay. So, either the way, you know, whichever is the best. All preferences. Right. I mean, after sleep, breakfast, <laughs> <laughs> and before sleep, dinner. Yes. So, it's uh, uh, very nice to have with you, you for this uh, we will coming we will be coming up with the many more parts with uh, music director film director martin Clements. this is this was the first segment with him and the upcoming segment we will discuss more about uh, in greater details i mean we'll go with the genre and other things so do keep subscribes to business article yes please ask my listener to subscribe and yes and watch this video and share at the main maximum platform, please. So, my friend uh, Sumit and uh, dear all audience, kindly your support. Ultimately, your love is important for us. And only if you shower your blessings, an upcoming artist can grow up. Kindly do support us and help us out to reach the best heights. Thank you. No, us them to subscribe the channel yes kindly do subscribe the article 
business channel. Business articles channel. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for watching business article. I will keep him hold for the next interview. Uh, maybe same place JW Marriott because they are the sponsors for this uh, video location sponsors. I am thanking all my audience. Thanks for watching Business Article. I'll see you very soon. This is Sumit Kumar signing off. Goodbye.